We have an injury update. Joseph Reno and Darren McFadden both suffer minor injuries skydiving onto the practice field. Both players expected to miss six to eight weeks. Kay Lewis, the undrafted rookie, is expected to start in their absence. Expect the boys' running game to suffer. So Joseph Randall and Darren McFadden decided to do the most and skydive into practice. So, I mean, it sucks for them, but they were, that, that's stupid. I now have an opportunity to earn the starting job and it will start with the New York Giants. And the day we have all longed for, opening Sunday of the NFL. You have a game like this opening day you have nerves so it's up to the coaches to really put the players in situations where they can get involved in the game and get rid of those nerves so they can show them everything they worked on this offseason can work the cowboys are back deep ready to return the kickoff josh brown getting his team set as we're about to get underway the dawning let's see if i can do anything office. on this kick return I don't, I accidentally hit the back juke button right there, and I get the ball up to the 21 yard line, and of course, you know, it's week one, so we're going to start off pretty simple and start with the halfback toss, and I truck my way forward for about four yards, second and six, we go with the run up the middle, and I get shut down. This is definitely not the start I was looking for. But we're going to go with the halfback counter. And there's a great block on the outside and a great block by Terrence Williams. And I'm at the 40, the 30. I'm trying to beat the defensive backs, but I get tackled on the 9-yard line. But that was a great run, and the Dallas Cowboys are loving it. Second and six after a 4-yard run. We go with the play action. Tony Romo slings it deep, and that is a touchdown to Terrence Williams. So this is a great start to the game. Third and four. We're going to swing route, and no one's covering me, so I call for the ball, and I move the chains. Second and four after driving down the field. Tony Romo throws it deep once again. And hits Des Bryant on the one yard line. This offense is looking pretty scary. Give me the ball, Tony. And I dive into the end zone and I score my first official NFL touchdown of the regular season and hopefully more to come. And on the punt return, I'm showing the coaches I can make plays in the open field. I get the ball to the 47 yard line. But the Giants were resilient as it was hard for me to run after they realized I'm not that bad of a running back. Second and eight, I bounce it to the outside and I get tackled and I only gain about one or two yards. I then get subbed out and with the backup in, they got to the seven yard line so I need to step up my game. We're going with the halfback screen. I try to beat the linebackers and I get to the two yard line. But we were not able to get in the end zone so we're gonna have to settle for a field goal. One minute and 30 seconds left for us to score before the half. I'm the check down, just waiting, just in case. Tony Romo slings it once again deep to Terrence Williams, who makes a great reception, moving the chains. Next, we go with the halfback draw, and I truck my way up, and I get a nine-yard carry. High snap, but it's all good. Halfback draw, and I jump through the line, and I score once again. Another touchdown. I'm having a very good performance this game. We are now in the second half. We are up 24 to seven. We go with the play action, trying to help block. Tony Romo gets hit and throws it deep to Des Bryant, and he makes a spectacular grab. This offense is looking nasty. Second and goal, we go with the play action, but Tony Romo gets it, and it's a fumble, and the defense recovers, and no one will catch this man as he runs to the end zone. So the Giants score off a defensive touchdown. Yeah. 
We are up 24 to 14, and they decide to run five receivers, so they take me out of this play. And they throw a screen to Des Bryant. Great block on the outside, and it looks like Des Bryant, the All Pro receiver, will not be touched. And he throws up that X. That touchdown pretty much closed the game. But I get a few extra carries as we try to run out the clock. Run up the middle, and I show my acceleration through the hole, picking up the first down, but more importantly, moving the chains. The Giants defense, though, could not stop the running game, so we were able to move the chains, and we finally decide to kneel the ball. So we won 31-14, to and I had a spectacular game, 171 yards, two touchdowns off of 28 carries. That is a great way to make my NFL debut. But now let's get to the week two matchup versus another division rival, the Philadelphia Eagles. This game is also about pride because the Cowboys did not re-sign DeMarco Murray and he decided to go to the Eagles. So I just want to show the Cowboys that if given the opportunity, I am also a special running back. The Cowboys also decided to throw Des Bryant in the mix in the kick return, but he decides to kneel after a great kick off the start. Now let's see what we can do versus our division rivals. First and 10, handoff up the middle, great block by the guard, and I get up to the 26-yard line. This time we decide to go with a halfback counter, but apparently the Eagles have been watching my tape because the last time I ran a halfback counter, I got 60 yards. This time I got shut down. Thrown to the outside, and great reception by Terrence Williams, moving the chain. Now we decide to go with the stretch play. Great upfield block by the right guard, and it looks like I may just be gone, but I juke into the fender, but we still get the ball up to the six-yard line. I've been having some great success in the red zone, and let's see if that continues on this third goal. I try to leap into the end zone, but 55, the Eagles linebacker actually pushes me into the end zone, and now this defensive end is sitting on me. Get off of me, bro. But it looks like the Cowboys just may realize they have something special. Team route to Jason Witten, moving the chains, getting the ball to the 48-yard line. This future Hall of Famer is still getting it done. What's this man doing on the ground? It looks like he's dying. And of course, if the run's working, we're going right back to it. I bounce it out to the outside. I break a tackle, but I only get a three-yard gain. We go with the handoff once again, but I get shut down. So after an unsuccessful two-minute drill, we're getting the ball back at half. I try to run up field, but I lose my balance, and I accidentally step out on the one-yard line. That is an extremely good way for me to get benched. We go with a little risky play and run it to the outside, but thank God they were not reading it, and we get a little more breathing room. We decide to play it smart and go with a fullback dive, and he, dang, this man's fighting up. Maybe he should be a running back, too. And he gets a six-yard carry, moving the chains. Up and block, and he throws a deep ball to Des Bryant, who, <laughs> who beats the double coverage and makes a great catch over two defenders, one-handed. That was beautiful. So now we have the ball up on the 34-yard line and field goal distance. Tony Romo decides to just hit me on the check down, and I try to break the tackle, but we actually lose four yards. Third and 13. I've definitely played better. This is not a great way to earn the starting job. The Eagles then score a field goal, so we are only up by four points. We go with the run. I break a tackle. I fall forward for about six yards. Great block by me, and Romo to Jason Witten for a first down. That was a clutch reception to hold the possession. We go with the halfback draw, and great block by the lineman, and we get about six yards on the carry. Third and four, we go with the draw once again. The linebacker dives, but he bounces off of me, and that is a first down. The Cowboys will take the snap. 
We try to end the game right now by scoring another touchdown, making it two possessions, except it is picked off by the Eagles secondary. That is not good. So now the Eagles have the ball back with four minutes to work with. Except Bradford isn't getting it done. He turns the ball over and we have the ball on the 28 yard line. So this is looking pretty good. They decide to put me in motion. Do a swing route across the middle and he throws it deep across the center. Jason Witten, the team captain, the all pro scores a touchdown. So we are up 21 to 10. We are now on the four yard line after the Eagles are unable to stop the run game. And I am able to get the ball into the end zone. So once again, I score another touchdown. And after kneeling the ball, we win 28 to 17 over Chip Kelly. DeMarco Murray did have the better performance. He had 14 more yards and averaged two more yards per carry. I did perform better week one, but I am showing. I may just be a special running back and I do have a future in this league.